Hello, this is Matthew with Technomicon Media, and this week on Technomicon.com, I'm reviewing Guild Wars 2, which is the latest MMO for uh, PC gamers. So I wanted to start off with uh, the main map for the game. Uh, this is a section of one zone that I'm currently working on, and it's sort of a rectangle, but you can see that area that I'm in is like this tiny sliver of the world map and it's pretty impressive. Uh, what's cool about the map system is that there's what's called map rewards, uh, meta achievements for completing an entire map, uh, both um, in terms of exploring the map and then also in terms of completing tasks for uh, various NPCs located on each map. The really cool thing about uh, the map achievements is they're not easy, they're not straightforward. Uh, a lot of things that are that you're supposed to find aren't even on the map, or if they're on the map, they're they're difficult to locate. And here's actually the reward for completing this map. And uh, the green rewards are actually what are considered rares in this game. So think of green as, as yellow or blue in another game, uh, depending upon what you're familiar with. So uh, for for the review, I went with Ranger. Uh, I actually played uh, Necromancer in the beta, but I felt I'd give Ranger a shot. I played it a little bit towards the end of the second beta. Uh, so here's pet management. Pet management uh, is pretty cool. There's a lot of pets to, that you can tame. Uh, it's called Charming, and you can select on the fly different pets. They each have their own set of specific abilities as well as one ability that you can control with the F2 key. Uh, the other abilities that are listed there are just auto abilities that they'll use more or less on cooldown. So another cool thing about uh, Guild Wars 2 is the inventory system. Uh, the inventory system has you know of course your bags as well as a bank system. The, the thing that's unique about it is you can send items to your to your bank uh, automatically out in the field so you can select to, to deposit all items and it actually sorts them by by type. Here you can see to the right that's my bank and you know when when you choose to deposit items it'll sort them in the in the crafting kind of UI to your right. Uh, the only problem that I find with this system is that when you want to actually craft something, you have to remove it from your bank and place it back in your inventory, even though the, the bank UI and the crafting UI, if you're at a crafting station, is the same sort of setup. So, uh, of course, crafting in Guild Wars 2 is pretty grindy, but not in a bad way. I mean, it's it's sort of the balance of if it's too easy, then it doesn't feel like you're actually achieving anything. So the main uh, focus of leveling in, in Guild Wars 2 is this uh, task and event based system. Here I'm showing you an event and uh, what events are are tasks that occur at specific moments in time. They're not always available. You know, you'll get an announcement in whatever zone you're in if you're close enough to an event that's taking place. And the cool thing about tasks and events is that anybody can participate in them. So here you can see dozens and dozens of players uh, taking part in this escort of these guys that have the shield icon. That, that means that you're supposed to protect them and escort them to their, to their objective. And uh, just a tip for players getting into um, the game, uh, when, when these kind of mobs attack the group or the escort, you want to tag them. Uh, even though you'll get credit uh, for just being with the escort, you get more credit, more rewards, and as well as loot if you actually tag them. So you want to use like AOE, AOE abilities. So in addition to escorts, here we have what's like an elite boss type mission. And this is actually a follow-up um, event for the last uh, escort. So oftentimes when you're completing one event, it'll sort of evolve into another in, into an, another event as well and this is actually going to evolve into yet another event so you can just stay with the group if there's a lot of people and just continue on with the event if if that's what you want to do and once again this is matthew for technomicon media for the full article on guild wars 2 the review visit our website at www.technomicon.com and thanks for watching